Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. Somebody asked this question on the forums and I thought to quickly just answer it in a video. I'm not gonna do much editing on this one. There won't be a blog post or anything like that. Just really quickly, let's get to this question. Hi, does anyone know of a way of automating exclusive solo on different tracks? I'm making a snare mic shootout video and that would be the quickest and most convenient way. All right, so I'll first show it to you and then I'll run you through the setup. So I got this snare recording here, four mics, mic one, mic two, mic three, mic four. So to start, I'll set a time selection to my eye I'm going to hit solo on the first one and I'll just hit play. All right, so that's the demonstration. And basically the way I'm doing that is using these two markers. These are called action markers. And I have a whole four part video series where I covered them in a lot, a lot, a lot of detail. So if you want, you can check those out. But basically these two markers may seem meaningless to you, but if you copy them exactly onto your project and put them at the end of your loop, this will get the job done. And if you wanna know exactly what they do, these are command IDs for actions in Reaper. And if you have SWS extensions installed, go to extensions, go to SWS options, and you'll go enable marker actions. So these are marker actions, action markers. Sometimes they're called smart markers. So the syntax is always the same. It starts with an exclamation mark, and then you put one or more command IDs here. So this first command ID belongs to this action track go to next track and the command ID is 40285. So I can just right click on this, go to copy selected action command ID, hit it. I'll just open this new marker that I created. I'll put an exclamation mark space, command and V and I'll hit okay. And this next one, as you can see, I have two actions here. The first action is track on solo all tracks. And you can see that the action IDs match 40340, 40340. And the next action is track solo tracks, which is 40728. So basically these marks markers will do the same thing if I was pressing the hotkey, except I'm not pressing the hotkey, the marker is doing it. So let me just quickly bring them over here and set a little bit of a distance between them so you can see what's going on. So at the beginning, I had this track selected and soloed. When I hit play, as the marker goes over this track, the second track is selected. And on the second marker, all tracks are unsoloed, which unsolos this track. And then the selected track, which is this one, gets selected. And then I'll set a loop here and this will just happen in a loop. Next track is selected, all tracks are unsoloed, and the selected track is soloed. So let's see that in a loop one more time. Yeah, so if you're doing a mic shootout, you can select the track whenever kind of near to the end of the loop. And then just slightly before the loop ends, because these actions sometimes take a little bit of time to execute, put the second marker, select your first track and solo it, and then sit back and enjoy the show, as will we. And when you made that mic shootout video, please send me the link. I'd love to watch it. That's it for today. If you like the work I do, you can donate to me through buymeacoffee.com. You can also become a member of this channel and get access to some perks. Otherwise, take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.